My name is Ingrid Pasord and I'm the author of Love After Love and this is what I've been reading. The first book I've been reading is Humankind by Rutger Bregman and it's a wonderful book especially for um, these strange times that we live in. Its radical premise is that we as a species have been taught that we are governed by self-interest, inherently selfish, and Bregman sets out to show that this is an absolute um, flawed argument and that actually when uh, pushed to the edge, we uh, cooperate, we show kindness, and we are full of compassion. So he looks at things like the Stanford um, prison experiment, the Yale shock machine, um, and uh, literature like the Lord of the Flies. And he shows, in fact, very interestingly, that in real life, the Lord of the Flies is not how we would behave. So it's, it's just such an uplifting book to read. The second thing I've been reading is Jenny Offal's book, Weather. And uh, this book was shortlisted for the Women's Prize 2020 um, and has had, you know, amazing reviews. Um, I particularly like Jenny Offal's work because of the quality of her writing. Um, in The Guardian, they describe it as taut, tight, quirky, full of quirky observations and fantastic one-liners. And I think this sort of sums up um, Jenny Offal's work. It follows the life of Lizzie Benson. Lizzie is, uh, we see her in her roles as a, a wife, a mother, a professional, um, a daughter, and quite a lot of the time as a devoted sister to um, a recovering addict of a brother. And always she gives us the weather, whether that is physical, uh, political or emotional. For a great read, a thoughtful read, um, I highly recommend this book. The third thing I've been reading is some poetry. Uh, Roger Robinson's uh, collection called A Portable Paradise. And I should uh, say that I'm particularly proud because he and I share Trinidadian roots. Um, this collection won both the Forward Poetry Prize and the Ondaatje Prize. So it's uh, been highly feted um, and it's just the most exquisite collection of what it means to um, consider belonging, uh, home, and these sort of uh, questions of the insider, outsider, immigrant experience, as well as uh, questions of masculinity and fatherhood along the way. 